<clears throat> Building trust through secrecy, how can new warhead verification technology be used to advance arms control and disarmament? With the upcoming Non-Proliferation Treaty, NPT, review conference, especially with the latest ratification of the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, TPNW, we revisit one of the central questions under the current NPT regime. How do we make progress on effective measures relating to cessation of the nuclear arms race and nuclear disarmament? The political challenges surrounding nuclear arms control and disarmament are closely linked to the NPT and TPNW. Both encourage nuclear disarmament, but lack in enforcing verification of dismantlement. The pace of reduction is slowing and mostly focusing on already retired warheads. Focusing on nuclear arms race, the information problem identified refers to the asymmetrical nature of information related to arms investment and development, which is often undisclosed to the other parties. The commitment problem addresses incentives to cheat even in the perfect information environment. As a result, differing incentive dynamics prevent states from reaching an arms control agreement. Next slide. In terms of engineering challenges, information barriers are used to allow dismantlement verification without letting the inspector learn about the host weapon design. However, the inspector must trust that the signal passing through the barrier is genuine, and the host must trust that the barrier will not leak their weapon design. These two conditions have never been simultaneously satisfied, but these shortcomings may be addressed by Physically Cryptographic Verification, or CV. It can confirm that the fissile core of the nuclear warhead, or the pit, has been removed without measuring details of the pit design. Therefore, information barriers are not needed. The first method uses a superheated emulsion detector calibrated against a reading directly complementary to the reading of the genuine pit chosen by the detector. Um, by the inspector. When the genuine pit is measured by the detector, the result is a completely blank reading. But when the decoy pit is measured, there is a distinct difference in the reading. The shape does not fit in the hole. A similar procedure using nuclear isotopic resonance requires hosts to produce a filter to place between the pit and the detector. When the genuine pit plus the filter are measured in a neutron beam, excess signals from the filter mask the specifics of the pit design. Then the genuine pit is replaced by the next pit, and this reading is compared to the genuine reading. Both methods allow the inspector to discriminate between pits that do and do not match the genuine reading, while still protecting the weapon design details. This demonstrates that CV provides a tangible and actionable method for disarmament pledges to become reality. One of the main challenges in making progress under NPT Article 6 is information and commitment problems. CV offers answer to both. In terms of the information problem, CV provides a safe way to verify the dismantlement of nuclear warheads. CV also offers a solution to the commitment problems as dismantled and mutually verified nuclear warhead and the trust built into the process reduce incentives to cheat. Next slide. Similarly to the NPT Article 6, and TPNW Article 4 calls for the disarmament of nuclear weapon. However, it, it adds strict deadlines that cannot be enforced without a secure verification procedure. The use of CV provides a secure framework to progress of dis dismantlement. Next slide. The use of CV uh, promotes a mutual trust. The potential observer status of the DPRK in US, Russia, China arms control, for example, via CV would create a, a confidence and the trust in the process and potentially open a pathway for future arms control and disarmament agreement. Next slide. So here are our, our policy recommendations. Number one, we propose to adopt a CV as a means to implement MPT Article 6 on the occasion of upcoming MPT review conference. Specifically, we recommend to governments of the US and Russia to utilize CV as a method of facilitating and implementing the dismantlement of retired nuclear warheads. Next slide. Secondly, we propose to organize a meeting between the NPT and TPNW representatives on the occasion of the upcoming NPT RAFCON to discuss the utility of the CV in addressing the action plans of respective treaties and explore the role of CV in connecting the NPT and TPNW. Next slide. Last but not least, we, we recommend to facilitate nuclear arms control and disarmament negotiation with the DPRK by building trust over the cryptographic verification process. For example, uh, we propose to convene a track to dialogue to discuss the utility of the CV in making tangible progress over the nuclear arms reduction and disarmament. Or we propose to invite a DPRK as an observer in nuclear warhead dismantlement via CV uh, between US, Russia, and China. Thank you for your attention.